Hello everyone, this is Rayspace and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 where I have seen my first animals and I would like to share it with you, especially how I found them. I'm taking off here with the Airbus A400 because I hadn't flown it yet and we are flying in Cameroon because in Flight Sim 2020 I had flown to all the countries of the world in F111 and Cameroon especially did not have particularly good scenery. Uh, there were other places as well that I marked out as having really horrible scenery and it is much improved with the system in Flight Sim 2024 uh, though with the F-111 I was flying very high so higher up it might not be so good but at least at this altitude it looked okay. A little note about the Airbus A400 if you try to lower the ramp in flight it doesn't like that. Uh, it basically treats it as you having crashed. So, alas, it's not quite like the C-130, uh, which can lower its ramp in flight. Uh, you, you can't do that, apparently. So, anyway, it is not a C-130 replacement. We'll need one of those, too. Now, uh, anyway, continuing on, I decided to fly out. I think I was flying out from the capital of Cameroon, and I decided to head north to a major river and see what that looked like. And so here we are going over quite a lot of trees. I think to some extent they've covered up the poor photo scenery on the ground with trees. <laughs> um, so, well, it's okay. But here's the river that I was aiming for. And one thing about the river is that it looks really good. The, the color is very nice. And what you would expect is very realistic uh, for a river. I felt, uh, you know, it's got the sediment and everything. It's got some color variation in it as well. I mean, it looked really photorealistic. And already I felt like this would be a good place to find some animals. I've been looking for creatures already. Uh, but then I saw some that I thought over there. Those I didn't know whether that those were creatures or not, or just spots on the ground. But I saw them and decided that I would try to land the A400 on the ground and now I hadn't tried an off runway landing I mean I had tried landings on rough runways you know uh, non-paved runways uh, but not just on the ground like this uh, so here we go I actually crashed once but that was mainly because I wasn't handling the A400 right I stalled it uh, this time I was going faster than I probably ought to but that was because I had just crashed going too slow. Uh, you can sort of see on the speed scale there how tight a range there is between the upper red portion and the lower red portion. So yeah, anyway, uh, it was bumpy, very bumpy. I was lucky to find a clear patch where there weren't too many trees here. And I made it. So that was successful. Uh, it gives off a lot of dust and stuff from the engines like this, so that's nice. And I decided to stop things before trying to get out. So after turning the engines and stuff off, I got out with Shift-C and walked around. Nice ground textures. Uh, we do have a good look at the plane, but it didn't seem like there were any animals right here. Uh, after all, we've flown quite a ways from where I spotted those little spots on the ground. So I decided to try and spawn something else here. Now the way the world map works nowadays, when you press end flight, uh, it still focuses on the spot where you were at. See, it still shows my plane, so I know exactly where I was. The only downside is it starts you in flight. I decided to pick the ultralight because that would be easiest to spot critters on the ground with. Now, on the map, there might be like fauna icons, but I haven't, I didn't try to activate new markers on the map for that sort of thing. But maybe they have those kinds of markers and I just haven't seen them yet. So that would be an easier way to find your animals. But this is sort of a more interesting way to find animals. And with the ultralight, I saw this box in front of me. And I didn't know what that was. I didn't think it was an animal, but it was interesting enough that I decided to head towards it. And along the way, towards that box, uh, animals appeared. So we see some right there. So, my first actual animals. I went close to them. And they were moving about. 
Uh, they are apparently buffalo, African buffalo, or some sort of bovine, some sort of bull-like creature. Don't think they have bison or something like that. But basically, African buffalo is what I'm guessing. I decided that I would try to land and then walk on over, but that plan won't work out very well because uh, the walking speed is very, very slow. And ultimately when I land, I land far enough away that it's too tedious. But I'll show you how exactly it went because another aspect of that was interesting. So here we go, trying to set down here. hop a little bit here and there and then nose down but this plane doesn't have the propeller in front it has the propeller in the back so I did not immediately wreck the thing like that and ultimately it came to a stop like that so that's a helpful feature and this really kicks up some dust though it made me feel very guilty because the dust looked really horrible like I was polluting the place I'm not polluting the place that much I swear um, but uh, as I walked along you see the divots where my wheels sort of scraped the terrain, which that's really interesting. So I sort of like that and wanted to show you those little, the evidences of my hops are in the ground there. So I found that fascinating, but I ultimately turned back towards the plane because I tried to toggle run, but I was definitely not running. The running was not happening. So I went back to the plane, and that those are interesting smoke patterns. That's an interesting effect, and again, made me feel very guilty. Okay, so I decided to taxi the plane over to the buffalo. Turning around. And the ground is bumpy. And I continue to make a trail. So this is all very interesting. These were features that were mentioned, and so it's interesting to see them in action. Now, I didn't really want to disturb the buffalo so much, but I ended up disturbing the buffalo and running right through them. Um, I had wanted to get out and walk among them to see if they would attack me <laughs> or something. Oh, you know, you never know, but they're sort of like that. Um, some of the movement is a little bit jerky and they sometimes pop in and out, but other times they're fairly consistent, which is nice. So I'm heading out to... I was trying to chase one then. Well, it lasted longer than some of the cars. The traffic tends to pop in and out a lot. A lot more than some of these animals, I suppose. But yeah, I followed that one for a little bit of a ways, but then ultimately gave up. <laughs> I decided not to continue chasing it, and then I turned to another bunch that were walking in a row off to the side here, but I think I'll leave it here. So that was my first experience with animals in uh, Flight Sim 2024. I thought it was interesting. Uh, I'll have to see the map view to see if we can plot a course between various packs of animals or something like that. Don't know if that will work out. but. It'll have to be with a small plane. Really, with the bigger planes, it's hard to get down to them. Uh, that's obvious. But anyway, for now, with that, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.